Oak Ridge and St. Francis squaring off in the D1 finals for the third time in the last four years. Saturday in Natomas, let's go. St. Francis middle, Sophia Garza might lead the section in game face, showing it off right there, but Oak Ridge's Maddie Walker goes about face, sending this ball back to where it came from. Later in the first, Charlize Rowe goes to the back row for the kill, and we're all tied up at 21. But the Trojans close out the set as Kylie Gaunt sends this ball deep to the back corner, and Oak Ridge goes up one game to none. Set two, Kate Fagundes with the dig, Avery Town with the set, and Emily Child with the kill. And then her teammate, L. Weaver, throws down, and the Trojans take set two, 25 to 20. But the Trubies are on the comeback in set three. Garza hammers it home, letting everybody know about it. St. Francis up by four at that point, but Mac Dowden ties it up at 20 apiece for Oak Ridge with this southpaw smash. But St. Francis pulls away as Kelsey Magley hits Olivia Mlickiton to make it 24 to 21. And then Caroline Foraker closes the door as the Trubies take set three, 25 to 22. We've got a ball game here to the fourth. Elle Weaver has been the go-to gal for Oak Ridge all year long. She had 18 kills for the Trojans Saturday, but back and forth we go. Both teams neck and neck until it was 20 to 20 as Garza puts another point away, but Oak Ridge starts to separate. This is match point. Avery Town with the hanger. Emily Child with the banger, and they get a banner for that banger. The Trojans celebrate with the dog pile, and for the second time in school history, Oak Ridge repeats as the Sac Joaquin section champions. Our group from last year knows what it takes to win a section final and I think we really did a good job of giving that expectation to the other girls and setting a precedent for what goes at Oak Ridge and doing our thing.